Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to put an image inside of a shape in Photoshop. Alright, so this is a pretty common technique, but it's one of the most fundamental things that you should know in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to open up a blank canvas here. So if you go to File New, you can open up a canvas of whatever size you want. But just for this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to use this technique and I'll make a simple little example picture. So first things first, I have my blank canvas open and then I want to grab my custom shape tool. So I'll open up my custom shape tool in Photoshop. But also remember you can use just regular circles or rectangles or whatever shape you want. So in my custom shape tool, I'll go ahead and look through Photoshop's presets and I'll select one that I want to use. So I'll use the heart shape here. Now before I go ahead and click and drag and make my shape, I want to make sure I have it set to shape mode and not path mode or selection. So I'll use shape mode and for the fill color, it doesn't matter what color you use, but just so it's easy to see, I'll use black. Now also I don't want a stroke and I'll leave everything else the same. So now if I click and hold and also hold shift to keep everything proportional, I can make my shape. So that's about the size that I want and then I'll click my move tool and I'll just put it near the center. So next you want to place an image inside of the shape, but how do you do that? So first I have my image opened up in Photoshop and I'm just going to drag my image onto this canvas that we're working on. So now you can see I have my image on top of my shape layer on top of my background. So it's very important that you place your image or your image layer directly on top of your shape layer. Now the way to do this is pretty simple. It's just one button. So just go to layer, create clipping mask. Uh, as you can see, Photoshop automatically masks out everything on this layer to be only within that shape. So you can see this little arrow here that signifies that this layer is being clipped onto this one. Now we have our image in our shape, but I'll just take it one step further and just wrap up this image to put it in perspective for you. So let's say this is a bit big for me and I want to move it around, or I want to scale it down. I'll just go to edit, transform, scale, and then I will just shrink it down to a size of my liking. Um, but I actually kind of like it decently big. So now we've got one head on each side. And then um, I can click back on my background layer and instead of having this solid white, I'll just create a gradient. So I'll go to layer, new fill layer, gradient. And then for the gradient, I'll double click and make my own. So for the, for the first color, um, I'll pick a color from the sky here. And for the second color, I'll pick uh, another color from the sky here. So now I have my soft little gradient here and I can position that. And you can see this is the gradient fill layer. And then lastly, I'll go to layer, new layer, I'll click select all to select the entire canvas and then I'll grab one of my selector tools like my rectangular marquee and then I'll right click, stroke and I'll create a little border by creating a 50 pixel stroke um, of solid white inside. So now I can command D or right click and deselect and I have my nice little image here and you can see how easy it is to put an image inside of a shape in Photoshop. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future tutorials. And if you have any questions or trouble with this, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. See you guys next time.